So, and this is Lafayette Radio once again. I would like for my guests to, because Emil Ali my introduction of him, and I'm a very better Do you understand? I shall not introduce you by, by myself. You do yourself. So yes, please, Femi, let the guests know who you are and what you do, how are your hair, how are your hair is raw. <laughs> <laughs> Good day, everybody. My name is Femi. Femi Adeite. And um, I'm a creative designer, creative head for Velvet Designs and Events. Um, Larry's my friend and brother. We go way back, and I'm here for him. Uh-uh. In summary. <laughs> <laughs> in summary. In summary. Uh, sir, in summary. Okay. Yeah. Then to my rights, Wayne. How many pounds do you weigh? Fifteen. Are you weigh fifteen pounds? <laughs> um, Larry, yeah. please. Okay, so um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Abdul Razak or Larry Waju Anosaya. Uh, I guess he's hearing the full name for the first time in how many years? So, um, Sir Alex. Sir Alex, that's what they call me. You know? Why did you call it Sir Alex? Of course, you gave me that name. Why? <laughs> because I'm a Man U fan and I'm a <laughs> diehard Sir Alex Ferguson fan. So, what are you doing like this for? So, um, <laughs> Continue yes, there. so we're here to, I mean, because of Larry, um, we're here to discuss some very, very serious issues. And um, we hope that at the end of the day, um, it's going to turn out fine. Yeah. No. Now back to the show. Mm. <laughs> you sound like you're working on radio for a second. Now. Like, ah, see, just, okay, we're going to address me the now. The spirits we're talking about. Uh, <laughs> 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 that was very, 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 now. I like. Um, okay, yeah. so... We do we're just gonna be all right. <clears throat> okay, so spirit. <clears throat> I wanted to have like these conversations because I'm sure there are lots of people who think about think about things like or ideas or concepts like spirit, like their own spirit, like life, what that means. Cause in every existence of ourselves say as black people or say as human beings or as brown people or as Africans or whatever existence there is um, there's an underlying factor that I feel connects everything and um, like the holisticness of everything and I can't help but shake, I can't shake off the conversation of spirits like the essence of knowing what spirit truly is maybe that way Let's not go to the end of the, the reason why we're having this conversation, but what do you guys think spirit means? Like from everything. It can be from your typical everyday understanding. It can be from your biblical knowledge. It can be from your Quranic knowledge. It can be from your tribal knowledge. But what do you think spirit is? Okay. Um, as a Muslim, um, spirit um, can be described from different perspectives of course in the quran there are different ways for spirit you know there's the good spirit there's a bad spirit and that there's that which uh was created with mankind that goes with him everywhere it goes to so for the good spirit of course allah created um, mankind and the jinn according to quran which means that allah has not created mankind and the jinn of course the derivative being the genie in english language you know <clears throat> except to worship him so they are in their own existence now there's a spirit which works with mankind which whispers to them to do evil it's called korean <clears throat> in islam no there is a korean because at a point in time the prophet um when asked by his wife don't you have a Quran? He said, yes, I do have. Every, everybody has. But mine has been converted to Muslim, so it can't whisper to me something bad. And there's that which um, we can equally refer to as the soul. It's not what you can touch. That's the one that depends the body, you know, which, uh, of course, give um, um, substance to this body, the physical body we see. Mm-hmm. So that's the way Islam sees spirit in a nutshell. Well... So with you, <clears throat> excuse me, with you, do you, so 
is there a pos- is it possible that after what Islam says according to your spirit is is it possible that you have your own or that's exactly what you just believe in or you have your own understanding including the um, suggestions according to Islam like you said yes I do have mine uh, perhaps I my knowledge from the Islam perspective is not wide enough to explain that part of it but my understanding of the spirit in addition to all I've um, explained earlier is that's um, that existence within you know that's you feel it you feel it, it's a realm on its own it's it's a part of mankind that connects you with a higher intelligence you know such that you can't see God in person but spiritually you connect to God so when you want to hear feel or you know achieve certain things it has to be through spirit so that's my understanding of the spirit which is further explains all I said earlier excuse me I mean it's, it's I'm, I'm saying that simply because um, like the complexities may be you know interesting but then this 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 simple terms are also because I feel like now we know the complexities you know the definitions for me it's like okay so I, that's why I would ask you like beyond just what your references are what then is your understanding from those stated or said references um, that's why but I mean I'd like to hear what Femi thinks it is well, <clears throat> For me, for me, honestly speaking, I kind of summarized it to have a better understanding, even for me, because I've been here just thinking about spirit, spirit, spirit. What did I, what did I enter? What, what, <laughs> what, have I, what have I gotten myself into? But it's just simple for me. Spirit for me is that part of me that that is in touch with something bigger, higher, and greater than me that that part of me that is in touch with something bigger greater and higher than me that's my own basics on basic understanding of spirit Spirit. yeah something in me that is you know something i don't the only way i have access to it is based on my knowledge my understanding based on what i've experienced so far on earth that is greater than me that's what I think. That's the without um, having to be too um, biblical, because from the biblical aspect, Bible says God is spirit. God is spirit, and those that must worship Him must do so in spirit and in truth. So that's why I said, for me personally, it's that side of me, that part of me that is greater than me, because you know I'm just I'm just as physical as every other person in this room. I'm just as normal. Like everybody here looks almost, I can't say we all look alike or look the same, but we're human. Mm -hmm. But there's a part of us that is bigger than all of us that are sitting down here. So you can have access to yours on a different level and dimension based on your knowledge and your understanding on your experiences so far. And you can do the same, I can do the same. That's, That's me. <clears throat> um, as as somebody talk this thing, eh? like you know, like someone is speaking, <clears throat> and as this person is speaking, you just say you're thinking about what they're saying, and <laughs> you're wondering. So where's it going to be the problem? <laughs> like with human interaction, um, how did we get to the point where, uh, as a kid, right, growing up in Makati Barracks, there's a mosque right down the road around me. And um, <laughs> the point people just ran and said, hey, they see Mary for mosque. They see Mother Mary for mosque. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> well, you meet the demon and say for St. Michael, I ain't it. <laughs> so, na, as in for no, St. Michael, no. St. Michael, no. St. Michael, no. St. Michael, no. No, but in St. Michael's Catholic Church, is it? It's in Jamaica, they're stabbing the devil. I'm like, so. So, you meet the demon and say for Lagos Island. St. Michael, they, they, they destroy the devil. Then for more, scored the way for her or me, Mary just show for Lufas. Uh, and we went there. I say, I would like to you. Eh? You know that? You know, like when you know that, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I can't say anything because it was just that reflection of light on Lufas okay. that, that forms that like form. a cross. Oh. I 
kind of kills the buzz, though. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how I feel because I was a kid. And yes, Mary. I know the, because of the... Hmm, I feel so embarrassed with this. Because of the nature of what it looked like, people literally believed it was whether Jesus or Mary that she appeared. Now, it's ironic growing up from seeing all that and seeing how people will hold on to such beliefs but will not unify with each other. <clears throat> like, like spirit-wise. Like... I like his definition because through his definition, I go to say all this person at the year for social media, they don't matter. They be human being. Like, there's everybody has spirits. And if you say, what's, what did you call it in Islam again? The bad one? Um, Korean. Korean. Like, say if now Korean, let's just take for example that, let's agree, you <laughs> say, for the lack of a better argument, that everybody believes the spirit of evil is Korean, right? No, everybody like, believes. Well, like, well, I, that's why. Yeah, that's sounds like a, like an anime. As name. in exactly. <laughs> 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 the name is so sweet. The name is so sweet. Even me, it's like we will be about to have small Korean, but no. It be like where's the Naruto supposed to fight? Yeah, exactly. You know, you know, you know something. You know something about that thing is, you know, I, I at a point in time, I, I try to link to link it with the reality that we have and i figure that there are times that you get to meet certain persons and you just won't gel just like ah man <clears throat> this thing got about what you for me to, ah, you know offend me you don't do anything but we just know the flow you understand mm-hmm. so i mean what, what about the spirits there the person going by your definition now um or this description now the other person has his own spirit. Yes. You have yours. Yeah. So, what is limiting the connection there? So, that's where I started believing the Korean. Like, it always wants to block you from, you know, accessing people who can um, make your path a lot Easy. easier in life. <laughs> so, I asked myself, why is it that you don't gel with certain persons even when they have not offended you and you've objectively thought about what's going on? I, no matter what this person does, I still don't gel. Don't you think that's that's basically like the activation of your your the fail switch safe inside? <laughs> like that's the activation of your um of your sixth sense. But maybe not the way I learned to start to see it. Maybe not necessarily because something is bad. Maybe it just isn't needed. And it will ultimately probably become a waste of time. I I, I beg to differ. Reason is there are times that initially you don't you don't you don't feel the need to connect with certain persons like that guy I know just did feel him. Mm-hmm. But over time, you find that it's very useful to your cause. Isn't that what I just said to you? So, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, yeah. I, uh, uh, you know, we, we life is funny mm. sometimes. Okay, now, remember Vidi? Yeah. Vidi, as wonderful as Vidi was then, I just know to you understand. Vidi Larry said he doesn't really fuck with you, Sha. Because I know that Vidi go watch this. And I know that Vidi has a stupid ass smart mouth mumu answer you, for you. you. Of course, I know he's going to come back. To yeah, he's going to give you. Know, you know, that was back the then. The Korean will know, come out. You know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but over time, after after a year, yeah. I got to find that. And this guy is not bad now. Yeah. You know, so if I had depended on that very initial, initial feeling that I yeah. had, perhaps. But doesn't that come back to understanding and the knowledge that you've come to experience and realize over time, not necessarily spirit? Uh, what do you call the initial feel? when you just meet the person there are people you meet once instantly you click with them you just like them like may I feel this person not necessarily because they've said something that you like mm-hmm. not necessarily because 
They look the so energy good. is just attractive. The energy, you understand. So but, what do you call that instant okay. connection? The, so there are some people that that is exactly the, the connection everywhere they go. Yeah. So I feel like if we, if we chip in a bit of, say, emotion. Guys are rubbish. <laughs> there's emotion, but then it's um, about opening your chakra. <clears throat> Excuse me. Opening your chakra. Um, he was in um, The Last Airbender Avatar. Remember that he was supposed to open all his chakra and when he got to the po- point where he was in love with Katara, yes. he couldn't really move further, but yeah. he needs to detach from every sense of attachment in human existence to be able to connect with the avatar. Mm-hmm. The avatara, that is the, the, the position of enlightenment. So technically, human beings maybe don't get to the point whereby they by themselves a lot of people don't get to that point where they open up a lot of their chakras so the guy that has opened up his chakra is the ah life of the party guy ko kan ko kun ko ron positioning he's not he's not he's not bothered about authority or swag or design or opinion he's just hey one of that person in my life is general pipe he's a fool like since when we were in Greg school, like you're gonna do meeting for music club like this. We say, guys, keep quiet. Five because they why I didn't pay me. What is wrong with you? <laughs> See, till this year, when we're recording, this pipe just it just doesn't he goes like out of blood learn over your own now. Like he was he's so selfless, he's so self- aware so i feel like that is also a determinant factor in that some people open up themselves so much to what the true experience of life is i.e for example some people have come to see that oh you know vanity is vanity all is vanity so they just open up to anything it's easy for you in this argument to now like such a person thinking it's your energy that didn't click with the person or your spirit that's why i said it's it's possible how much you have come to understand about so much at the end of the day everything comes down to your understanding of humanity people existence environment <coughs> everything everything around you has something to teach has something yeah. to say has something to preach whether you like it or not you're very the fact that you're sitting here has given me a bit of understanding about you that can guide me towards relating better with you. It still comes back to that. Yeah. That's me though. That's yeah, me I'm, because borrowing from this, remember like before the, the camera started to roll, I was saying to you that regardless of religious denominations, humanity is just happening. Yeah, and I said and I said that is so deep and there's a lot to unpack there. Like so I started to learn to see belief systems and not necessarily belief because there's belief system. So for example, like I see the belief system that Femi Adeite is in and I'm Mr. Onosoya. <clears throat> I can see belief systems, right? But I can also see the belief that you have. I Like there are two different things. So it's... It's just in understanding that, oh, okay, there are people that think this way and this is how they operate. There are people that think this way, this is how they operate. Like, you, if you don't, we'll never get a headway, which falls back on spirit because at the end of the day, the only thing that lets you tolerate enough to learn quick, maybe, is the awareness of the spirit. Like, what connects you to, the reason why you must understand for that person, just in case it's one of those people that... Um, my energy no click with them, but it's just because later on I will find out that this is a very interesting person. Like, that's how I feel like the conversation about spirit needs to go. And who else to start but those of us that believe in it? Those of us that think about it. Like, I have a friend who's... <clears throat> Are you a pastor yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, go take time, okay? Yeah, I have a friend. So he's neither a pastor nor an imam, but the the I can see the foundational value of the belief system. But personally, maybe with him more, I have seen certain things that shows me uh, belief, a lay, any belief, aka if you will 
like it's weird that even in your belief in christ likeness or christianity and i air quotate this or air quote this because of plenty plenty um simultaneous meanings to being a christian um but by that i've seen him as a person you know that half faith faith of a mustard seed that beginning of the i've seen him through a process of that guy really yeah really it's like if you go to this one a pastor if they say this guy is not <laughs> hey, this agidi that is using to deal with this and you can't help but appreciate because how then do you learn about humanity without experiencing humanity and the only base for such a uh, say maybe juxtaposition of facts say to put things side by side is spirit the spirit so well this podcast you can be t- what do I want to throw to him I was going to just you know because I don't know what to say so, so guys um <laughs> I said my own. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for 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 spirit. For me, um, yeah, I'm called a Christian. Everybody calls me a Christian. When I feel from, I write. They say religion, I write Christian and all. But it is beyond that for me. It's mm. not just about that that title. It's more about a relationship. It, it's my relationship with a spirit being it's not um a title that was bestowed on me you remember True. Back certification in the True, yeah <laughs> remember? you know back in the day we used to follow up so you're not holy enough to be a pastor <laughs> yes no. certificate you know and I, i'm not the <laughs> average i'm not the the regular if you look at me right now you probably think that <laughs> You know, like, yeah, well. th- this is what your daddy would have said, or your mom would have said. Mm, she said it. <laughs> <laughs> she said it. She said it. And I said, You will be all right. Mommy will be all right. Mommy will be all right. Don't worry. I'm about to buy Dory Lee politics. So I she walked by you. Yeah, so it, it, it's, it's more about the personal relationship and that's based on the personal encounters that i have so when we talk about spirit what leads me what leads me more is that personal encounters personal relationship those challenges those experiences that i've had to go through i mean larry's privileged to a lot of those experiences that i've had to go to as an individual as a person so i'm not like one of the things i used to tell my wife um is I don't want people to know me because they call me a Christian. I want people to see my life and want to know what I'm connected to. That is making this life like this. Yeah. That I like. I don't want I don't I don't want to be like your, you know yeah. what I'm connected to, what I'm about. My belief should be should be so evident in in the experiences you have with me in the work and the memory and friendship and whatever it is that connects us, my beliefs should be so evident that you want to be a part of that. Yeah. And that's that's why I said it, it, it is just, it's beyond, it's beyond um, the title. It's beyond the title, you know? And speaking of spirit leadership, I think you should join this conversation so that, you know, <laughs> you can help us. <laughs> because I'm thinking about spirit leadership, spirit leadership, and you know, I, I, I this, all these are leaders. Yes. Do you think that there's a spirit behind them? Um, there is a spirit. I don't know whether it's behind them. Things upon them, <laughs> <laughs> or in them, or taken, taken over. Um, but, go ahead. Yes. But honestly, when it comes to the country when it comes to the average young guy when it comes to i i feel like there's a spirit honestly speaking i feel like there's a spirit and that spirit is not leading anybody towards that's me personally it's not leading anybody towards what you said you man that thing has not gotten out of my head it's not leading anybody towards humanity right now mm. it's leading them towards i don't know what, i don't have a word for it yet but um yeah and and i really and i really pray and hope we get to a point where you know we begin to live that humanity the way god wants us to 
that's that's as you when I say God wants us to God wants you to literally God wants you to whatever definition of God that, that you, you have, have that you have because <laughs> you, you man I, there's no way you want to define humanity that is not the same I swear it's it's not complex. It's not complicated. Except you are not human. Except you're not. They don't have the argument. You, you, yes, you, except you're not human. Exactly. You know, you know, I, I, except I, I, your spirit, I, I, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then you're not you're not yeah. permitted to be inside these As, conversations. I, you're not you're not allowed I, to be inside these conversations. So I I think we um we equally need to add to that very point uh, mm. uh, and that is knowledge as well. Um, there are people who have the spirit to want to be, of course, humane enough to, to be kind and all that to others. Mm -hmm. But because, should I say, because there's little or no knowledge of that belief system that they follow, it robs them of their own personal um, spiritual experience that they, sh they ought to have. For instance, um, sometimes I wonder why because I am not a scholar, a Muslim scholar, but um, with the little I've learned over time. They learn it. <laughs> so with the little I've learned over time, I, I, I begin to wonder, like I told you earlier, I begin to wonder why a Muslim should not be kind to another person of, in quote, different faith. Because there are so many beautiful quotes of the Prophet that I have read not just heard, I've read them, and they're just so outstanding. They're so wonderful that you wonder, why you I mean, why do you tell people to go kill, go do this, go do that? For instance, let me quote one which I quoted earlier. There's, there's, there's a quote of Prophet Muhammad, which says, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى يحب الأخي ما يحب النفسي. You are not a believer. I'm sorry, the way the way I talk to you, this was my answer. I don't want to break out. I don't want to break out in tongues. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come M okay. NBC too, I mean, NBC, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, which is something. Uh, yes, okay. you know, you know. So, okay, so, so, just, come on, let's just come on. Let's not. So, not really. Uh, so, the thing uh, is, one of, <laughs> one, of the, one of the biggest challenges that I have found in Nigeria, yes, regarding Muslims, is lack of knowledge. Even though the spirit exists, of course, depending on the kind of experiences you've had with people, I totally lack of knowledge. I totally and I'm not talking about the knowledge of physics and chemistry mm -mm. Mm -hmm. the arabic text itself is a challenge the knowledge of the word the text itself, the words itself is a the challenge knowledge of the wait, word you wait, believe wait, itself a challenge to who yeah. well of course the muslims we, uh, we mean, have to <coughs> we need to understand okay. what i'm trying to say we, we have to particularize it before we holistically place okay. it okay you said the text yes is a challenge yeah to who to some Muslims, I won't generalize. Does that some mean, Muslims. So does that mean it's a challenge to the person reading it? He, he or she, uh, that's what I said, assuming the that yes. the person is reading it. And it's yeah. a, that's it now. Let's assume you're reading it. This is a challenge. Yes. It won't be a challenge if you're reading it now, would it? No, no, no. No, <laughs> yeah, no where I'm driving at is this. If you don't learn it properly, then there's a problem. Let me give you an instance. Hold on, hold on, sure. please. Hold on, please. Okay. please. Hold on. I was at a wedding function yes. and there's this in quote Islamic scholar. <laughs> yes, I would say this everywhere. And he quoted a verse of the Quran. And the interpretation he gave it, Baba, Baba Fao. A scam. You read God. Big scam. <laughs> because I was in shirt and so you wouldn't know if I knew what he was reading. Because I understand the 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 morphology of Arabic language, I understand the uh, the con rule of concord and all these things. So when I read, I can tell which is the subject, which is the object, and which is the verb, which is this and that. So, so if you don't understand that, you would <clears throat> just read verbatim or follow 
Okay. Afa wa so pe. That's why we say mo follow based on say on mo mo follow G. I hear. Yes. So when the rabbit they afar they talk say I mo follow. Rubbish you are jah leh. So so now now I'm let me let me let me let me quickly round it up. So you can't help yourself. In 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 the in the in the in the learning of Arabic text. Yes. Which would clear the air for certain Muslims so that they would know yes. uh, uh, what they are following is that you need to understand they, there's something we call Nahu and Sorfu this one talks about Nahu talks about the the grammar while the Sorfu talks about morphology which I uh, earlier mentioned Mofo. so Mofo. <laughs> Mofo. so now what did this guy say he quoted a verse which says that the people the people who fear god most or who uh, um, are shy or who follow allah are those who are learned now what does that really say if you know what god wants you're not, wise. You, you understand you would know okay humanity this This is the requirement. Knowing God wants is is being wise about humanity. You understand? Yes. So because that's that's what it says. Yes, God, God, in every language, in every religion, so, in every faith, God is love. You know what yes. this man yes. interpreted? Anyhow you want to interpret. He said yes. those that Allah fears, that's those that God fears. Yes. In the Yaksha Allah, meaning Ibadi al Ulama. Sorry. So, is it the the uh, the Mofo Imam? That's what just catch our face because how can you face say who God fears? You understand? Like that's what no, oh, that you, 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 you know. You know the Yoruba language. God. You, your language is so rich that you can actually paint things without. Painting you know, you're like, <laughs> you know. I want to long. I want to long. But to man tiju. Ironic. Yeah, Even it. in any morphology. Exactly. You, 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 you get what I'm trying yes, to say? Like, yes. oh, we need one seriously. Mm-hmm. So he was, he was, he was. So that's the point. So when certain Muslims understand, and this is the challenge they have with us. That's why yeah. they call us the, the Yoruba name I told you earlier, Allah Katakiti. Allah Kiti Kata. Because you would Single always have like to kiti. tell them. Like <laughs> you always like like say, Baba, in Kota and Sofa, this is wrong. Yes. This is wrong. So there's a an hadith to round it up. It says, La you mean ahadu hatta yuhib al akhi ma yuhib al nafsi. You are not a believer until you love for your brother what you love for yourself. It is a Muslim brother. The, the Arabic text does not say Muslim brother. So if I find someone in uh, on Sutana. But is it that or even breaking I mean, it down anywhere. further? Even breaking it <clears throat> down further is, help. is is if help is needed. The utility of such a lesson in Arabic, um, I mean, we have to round this up because it's a deep one, yeah. right? But you, the the utility of the lessons I've learned from what you've said in Arabic, but like benching it on what he's been saying as well is, you are not a believer if you don't truly love your brother. That's it. Your brother meaning humanity. humanity. Because the only thing that makes all us uh, makes us all <laughs> the only thing that makes us all family is creation. And I guess that's the holisticness of everything. And if that's the case, the only connector which would be some form of umbilical cord would be our spirits. Because it's only in spirits we can first awaken the knowledge of the self enough to know that what I'm doing to myself, I'm doing to the people. Onlo di fafun politician to nkowo je ti o mo pe your children may go and school outside of nigeria one day if you fall in love with one person we school for they go say no worry if not gregorian of myself <laughs> there's even this part there's there's this um sorry just just yeah. to lay it um, down a bit more because you know you were talking about the um knowledge, knowledge that's mm-hmm. from the islamic part and there's this part of the bible that says that my people perish because of um, lack Not of knowledge. knowledge and then there's also the part of the bible <laughs> so sorry, it's, it's, simple, it's, it's as simple fake, fake <laughs> it's as simple it's as simple as is it look it's as simple and straightforward as that there's not there's not how you want to interpret it then there's also this part of the bible that says that um the letter kill it but the spirit gives life spirit of law letter of law the letter kill it letter but can the be altered. Spirit, spirit of law is the foundation of law like oh, sure it, i like that all these things are like they're just reverbing into each other 
it's been a long time that we've been growing up especially us i am sure growing up you had to deal with the separatist ideologies of religious people especially religious leaders it was a competitive thing like who separates past <laughs> yeah, they're a lot larger. Um, but I appreciate you guys because um, beyond this being just a podcast, it's also it shows that birds of a feather. You know what I mean? Um, the unity that Africa, that that I, the entire globe, I might, if I may add, deserves or they need need is going to come from everybody playing their role. I don't care whether you're a sex therapist, whether you're an, <clears throat> Excuse me, Imam, whether you're a pastor, whether you be Babalao, whether you be magician, everything. At the end of the day, humanity is happening. And if it's true that an origin of good can never be bad, what then are we doing? Because it's to the self, it's within the spirit, it's on the inner light. So I appreciate you guys at least for sharing this moment with so my friends are not stupid. <laughs> no more beyond that. Thank you. Thank you for making this happen. Cloud. Cloud. Reach out. Is that my scholar of life? Yeah. Um, okay, mine first. How they can find you online. Okay, so... Um, do you want, me to, do you want to ask them that? Yeah. Hold on, sure. And then you wrap up. So I think I've done my wrap up already. No, you wrap up with them. You can wrap up with us. We, okay. We the people. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, sir. People. Okay, so... <clears throat> All right, so guys, um, just in case people want to check you out and follow you and see... Okay, so what your spirit is doing online? Okay. What you <laughs> <laughs> so on Twitter, uh, you can follow me at um, at Larry underscore Okonlomo. Yeah, you guys spell Okonlomo because O K E and O K O D O. Nah, nah. L A N R E underscore O K E N L O M O. Yeah. But sure, Okonlomo too, too, yo. Ah, when when daddy will be. Forget seventeen. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, baby. Okay, on Instagram you can find me as um, at designs by Femi, and my velvet designs. Okay, designer like visual scholarly. Scholarly. Hey, wabe. That's all, guys. Blessings. Yeah, um. <clears throat> okay, so today um the podcast today. Um, what I'd expect that you would most likely take from this, if you haven't already taken it, is um, there's something that unites everybody. There's something that is, and I don't mean this in the cliche understanding that anybody would, or that I have heard over the years. I feel like it's it's simpler. It's deeper yet simpler. Like It, it just only means that when you step out there and you see a man, <clears throat> when you step out there and you see a man, you know that you're observing a man. Um, a human being that is exactly what this is the only thing that is that can't be clothed that can't be bribed that can't be taken is the spirit inside of you like even if you bribe I'm in with the test and you know bribe me you know that you can't bribe because it it only keeps records and I hope people start to I hope the audience uh, the viewer uh, the listener I hope you start to look deeper and find that side to yourself because only there will you find true liberation and stance to whatever you claim you believe. <clears throat> Sounding like you still wanted to go on. <laughs> no, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they really are. This is so short. Really are. It is short. There's